A grain bin accident that took the life of a northeast South Dakota farmer this month is again drawing attention to safe grain handling. Grain bins are among the most dangerous places on the farm, but as Mikkel Pates reports, there are several safety measures that can prevent deadly accidents. The winter of 21 and 22 was not supposed to be a tough grain management year, but it turns out it's not simple. The first thing is always to be monitoring the condition of our stored grain. The second thing then is, is to think it through before we go into a grain bin. Generally a dry harvest means drier grain in the bin, but if aeration fans aren't covered, high winds can drive cold air up through warmer moist grain, causing ice crystals to form in the corn on the top in the bin. On a warm day, heat from the sun makes those ice crystals melt, creating crusting in the surface corn. Chunks of that crust can clog the auger below, and that can tempt farmers to go in and try to break up the chunks or loosen grain frozen in freestanding columns or on the wall. All this is a recipe for disaster when the corn starts to move. Once that grain flow starts, the person is very rapidly sucked down into the grain mass and can actually be pulled to the bottom and covered up. Hellebang says timely monitoring and management can prevent trouble from arising. But the sad reality is that many farmers don't have the tools handy to keep them safe. Very few farmers will have the harness, the uh, proper ropes, and those ropes attached properly to the bin to prevent them from being pulled into the grain mass. So there's ways to get people out of grain bin accidents, but the best way is to avoid them in the first place with better grain management. For Ag Week, this is Mikkel Pates. The most recent report from Purdue University found 55% of ag confined space incidents were from grain entrapments, with 64 fatal or near fatal cases. North Dakota and Minnesota each had seven of those, tied for second among states. South Dakota and Iowa were third with three each. Attendees at this week's expo got a dramatic lesson in grain bin safety. Members of the Cheyenne Valley Technical Rescue Team from Kindred, North Dakota, specialize in difficult rescues like this one. Captain Rich Shook says one reason this work is so meaningful to them is that they lost a member of the Kindred Fire Department in an accident in his own grain bin. So they give these rescue demonstrations to try to prevent tragedies. It's nice to be able to show them what happens inside and give them the perspective of what is evolving with a potential rescue at an engulfment. Shook says it's discouraging how much money is spent on teaching grain bin safety, and yet the number of accidents continues to increase. Thanks for watching Ag Week on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We post new videos every Saturday.